All right, well, what we're going to be making today is a Picasso inspired portrait. So we need to think about what a portrait is. A portrait is a picture of a person, but it's Picasso styled, which means it's probably not going to look very realistic and kind of geometric and also a little weird <laughs> to say the least. So let's first start with a weird shape for the face. So faces are usually ovals. Instead, maybe we can do something that has a few sharp edges. Definitely kind of bumpy. After that, let's now divide the face in half, having part of it be the nose. So I'm going to go down, but then I'm going to make a nose and then finish the nose right there. This will also help later when I want to color in. There will be two different areas where I can make the face very different colors as well. So usually your eyes are symmetrical, which means they're the same, but these eyes, I want them to be kind of different. So this eye, I'm going to do a kind of straight line underneath and a curved line on top. But then this eye, let's get really geometric. I'm going to make it kind of diamond shaped. This side of the mouth, maybe I'll do something that looks more square. The smile. Maybe this side will look more like a normal mouth. Remember, yours does not have to look like mine. And in fact, I want yours to look a little different, so that way it's interesting. Now I'm gonna start using some color because I don't wanna have to like go in and color everything later. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the iris of this eye. It's gonna be blue. And I'm using my paintbrush because I want to have really thick lines. The pupil and then maybe a highlight or two. <laughs> um, Maybe then after that, I'll do some eyelashes. Why not? Let's make them really thick. And then I want this eye, I want it to be blue as well. So I'm gonna do a different kind of blue. So as you're making your cubist portrait, I want you to think of how you can make both sides of the face look very different and use simple shapes to kind of show different aspects of the, um, the human face, like, like using a diamond. Maybe I would use another shape to create an eyelid. What if I use the shape tool to create an eyebrow. Crazy, right? All right. So we can put, make the nose look more like a nose by adding a nostril. Now like a sideways nose. And we can also add sections to the face. So let's say I want this person to have different places where I'm going to make it different colors so I could add shapes to my face. That's a little too big. Remember, you can always edit undo. I'm going to add shapes to my face so that way when I do coloring in later, um, I have different options to do different parts of the face, different colors. A shape needs to be something that's closed. So if I just do a line like this, that's not really going to affect how I can color it in. If I close the shape, that gives me the opportunity for this to be a different color. All right. So this is a person, kind of. Um, so they might need hair or a hat or something like that. So go ahead and think about shapes you can use to make hair. I'm going to do some triangles the triangular type looking things for my hair. 
Maybe you want to add circles for your hair. That is up to you. Maybe one side will be circles. Oops, see how I didn't connect that shape? Let's connect that shape. And then, since I have room, I'm gonna do a neck. Maybe even like a shirt. Like that. The hair, I do want it to make it look a little different than the shapes of my face. So I think I'm just gonna add a few texture lines, which means that they're lines inside, but they won't affect the overall color because I'm not connecting them to the edge. You can be creative as you want to. Ooh, that one will affect my colors. That's okay. I'm just gonna add some more like that. Be creative as you'd like to. Just use different interesting shapes. All right, and the last thing I probably want to do is I probably want to think of the background. So the background can be kind of simple. Um, it can be really complicated. That's up to you. Maybe I'll use a different kind of shape. So maybe I will just make the background have a few circles in it. So that way it doesn't feel empty, but it does still have something in it. Remember, I'm going to have to color all these areas in, so I probably don't want too many. Okay. Check that out. I feel like I need to add a few other things. Okay, so after that, let's start thinking about that paint bucket. You want to have mainly unrealistic colors. <laughs> things that are kind of surreal or, um, ooh, that's interesting. And I make you think, why? Why is it that color? Hmm. You see how those lines cut through and connected. So I have to do each individual part. But that's okay. I was kind of ready for that. Okay, I made a pattern. Hmm. Uh oh, I messed up. Let's go back and undo. So take some time to work on your Picasso. If you uh, feel like you are done, you can go ahead and finish. Ooh. But you don't want your background to take away from your person, so make sure that you choose colors or shapes that are a little different than your person. I'm going to choose oops, nope, similar colors to the hair for just like the parts that don't touch. So I also want it to be a little unified. Hmm, maybe not that. That weird color. It looks like an olive. It's kind of strange. Alrighty. So once you are done, remember to save or screenshot before you exit out. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I'm completed.